If you've ever played a video through Zoom or you ever plan to play a video through Zoom, you need to watch this video. Hi, I'm Jamie Gallagher and I help people make their online engagement as accessible, engaging and inclusive as possible. So if that is of interest to you, then make sure you click like and subscribe down below. Today is all about Zoom videos. Now I've discussed this topic before because it's really problematic. The reason I'm giving an update video is because Zoom are constantly updating their processes as well. And today we're gonna look at how to successfully share a video through Zoom. Now, to work out what successful sharing of a video looks like, I want to take you into Zoom and show you what is going wrong just now. Let's delve into Zoom. So here we are inside a Zoom call, and two important things to mention here. First thing is I'm sharing a cloud recording of this Zoom meeting, and that's because I want it to look as close as possible to the meeting participants experience. Zoom is terrible for showing you a good camera quality, a good video quality, but then your meeting participants get a lower quality experience. So that's why using cloud recording is useful to see what they might be seeing on their screens. The second important thing to mention is I'm going to be showing you a video clip that contains music. Anytime you are playing music through Zoom, you need to make sure to turn on original sound. Zoom is geared up to listen and amplify voice content. If you're playing anything that has music or non-voice portions, make sure you turn on original sound. And I'll put a link down below as to how you can turn that on. So those are two things. You're viewing a cloud recording and original sound is turned on. Now let's delve into the ways in which people are currently sharing videos. I'm going to show you three different ways and you can decide for yourself which way is best. We're going to start off with the first option and this is what most people are using. And I really wish they wouldn't. Screen sharing a video. Uh, it just doesn't work, it doesn't work. But I'm gonna try and convince you of that. Let's bring up a video and I'm gonna screen share it. So I go screen share. I, I'm going to check share sound and I'm going to check the optimize for video clip options and then I'll select my video. So here is an 18 second clip. Watch this, is it smooth? Are you happy with it? What is it like to view a video of this quality through screen share? How do you make something memorable? As a science communicator, that's my job, to take science, to make it interesting and have it be memorable. And I'd like to show you some of the ways that I do that. So there's our first clip. Ugh, I don't like it, I don't like it. When you're screen sharing, your computer is basically taking photographs of your screen and sending it out to meeting participants. For a video, it doesn't take photographs quickly enough. That means the frame rate of the video is far too slow and that's why it looks kind of out of sync and blocky because it's taking snapshots of the video rather than showing you a true representation of that. So that's option number one, screen sharing a video through Zoom. Do not do it. Please, please don't. If your clip is longer than a minute, it's going to be a very difficult experience for your meeting participants. So let's move quickly on to option number two. And this is again embedded in the screen share facil facility, but slightly different. This time we're going to click on screen share. Again, I've still got optimize for video clip and share sound on, but I'm going to ignore this first tab and I'm going to click on advanced. Advanced video and then I select my video file. So this is going to allow me to play this clip as an actual video. So let's have a look at the quality we get from this. How do you make something memorable? As a science communicator, that's my job, to take science, to make it interesting and have it be memorable. And I'd like to show you some of the ways that I do that. Yes, 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 so much better. And all for the click of an extra button. Screen share and video file share, it's night and day. Do not share a video through screen share, share it through a video file share. Two different things and the quality is really noticeable. What you'd have seen there is there's a much higher frame rate, so it was more true representation of the video. 
I do want to go into option number three, and this is the option that I use. I'm going to show it to you and then I'll try and convince you as to why I use it. So for this, I'm not going to do anything in Zoom. Instead, I'm coming into the camera software that I use. So I use Ecamm or OBS would work the exact same way as this. Option number three is to play your video directly through a virtual camera. So here's the same clip, but through my camera this time. How do you make something memorable? As a science communicator, that's my job, to take science, to make it interesting and have it be memorable. And I'd like to show you some of the ways that I do that. So there's option number three, pretty decent as well. I think the video file share and the virtual camera are pretty similar, um, but we can compare the three of them and have a little look. How do you make something memorable? As a science communicator, that's my job. How do you make something memorable? As a science communicator, that's my job. How do you make something memorable? As a science communicator, that's my job. How do you make something memorable? As a science communicator, that's my job. What you'll find is the virtual camera will maintain that high frame rate. So we're still seeing rapid picture and giving us that true to video experience. The reason I use virtual camera over the file share video is just for a smoothness of experience. I prefer to be able to play a video clip through my camera without interruption, without screen sharing, without anything else changing. Particularly useful if you have a little interjections, little screen shares or graphics appearing on screen, it can be really useful to play it through a virtual camera. But that's a whole other setup. The point of this video is please, Please don't screen share a video clip. It just doesn't work. No matter what it looks like to you, your audience experience is going to be very, very poor. If you do want to share a video file, the easiest route I would go down is click on screen share, click on advanced, and click on video file. That will improve your audience experience. Or if you want to be a little bit fancy, you can investigate setting up a virtual camera. And I've linked to the video I made about making virtual cameras up above. I hope that helps. And I hope I never see a video screen shared again. I'll be watching.